basically they are maintaining the history cycle of the Quebec uh, lifestyle. You can see the layer of the snow, how thick is it? difference that people are very welcoming and very nice and is Monday 13 February 2023 and in this video I'm going to show you guys Dravonville city in Quebec province and right now in Dravonville weather is very <laughs> nice positive 5 degrees Celsius and all over Dravonville is very snowy <laughs> you can see a lot of snow here and basically in this video I'm going to show you guys the Drummondville downtown, Drummondville neighborhood and some place around Drummondville and talk about how people live their life in Drummondville and the life, uh, life expense. Uh, yeah, and let's start the walk. I just start my walk from the center wheel of Drummondville <laughs> and you can find in this in this <laughs> street like uh, so many old building so you can see this is the main downtown of the city and this is the intersection right now i'm here so i'm really george yard hair yard i'm very bad at to pronounce the french sorry in drummondville city the life quality of life is very high and the like life expense is not that high Hi. And people are very nice. So if you know French, <laughs> so this is one of the best place to live. And the rent is very low. It's like uh, affordable. So you can find one bedroom apartment with uh, from seven hundred to thousand dollar. Very nice big one bedroom apartment you can check all this old building here the small alley you can see that house Watches <laughs> two different watches showing two different time. You can feel the life here, and life here is a little slow. People are very relaxed, calm. It's not like big city people on rush. Or you have to go to work. Uh, you need two three jobs for your living it's not kind of like that so people are very calm happy to live here and it's a very nice place to live and there are so many uh, extra facilities you know whenever you live in Quebec City 
Ko sorry, Quebec province. For example, for me, Alberta, my sick days is six uh, business days, and for the Quebec, they uh, they got like a ten six uh, ten sick days, official sick days. So that's a there is so many like a uh, difference between Quebec and other province. And it was a, like a it was a very bad concept that Quebec people are very different from other. But no, they are very nice, welcoming uh, people. The packet they are walking on the street it's very nice and mostly you can find in the downtown is the cafe so many cafes And Drummondville is the center of the Quebec city, Quebec province. Like uh, it is the center, uh, center place of the Quebec province. And the population in Drummondville, I think, is nearly eighty thousand right now. Zurich shop here. Whenever you walk on the street, you feel like different vibe. So I think this is a also a very famous uh, cap uh, like a bakery I think yeah last time I visit this bakery I'm not see is it open or no I want to visit this bakery but right now it's closed <laughs> It was a very beautiful inside. They have so many old things and last time when I visit in the city, I visit this uh, bakery as well. And you can see there is no high-rise building. <laughs> this is uh, the noticeable thing that they, they don't have any high-rise building.
Okay, I find a DQ <laughs> in here. Eret, uh, I, I pronounce Eret <laughs> very like uh, smoothly. Eret, this means stop. So right now I'm showing inside the neighborhood how the neighborhood looks like in this Drummondville city. Basically you can find this like a duplex house and like maximum three or four uh, storied building in Drummondville city because it's a uh, city and the highest building in the city is the uh, their charge and city cannot make the higher building than the their charge main church so this is how it looks like most of the house in Drummondville and there is like a Drummondville you can find mainly the inside the city like the near the downtown as you can see and if you drive like a uh, five minutes from the downtown so you can find the another like countryside neighborhood like the 50 percent people live in inside the city and 50 percent live countryside so uh, <laughs> yeah it was cold and i just i will add uh, a countryside driving video uh, in this video so you can assume like country how it looks like the countryside uh, houses and the summertime all the countryside they houses they have their own uh, farmland so they sold like a cell for their living so many vegetables fruits like a it depends like uh, uh, some people grow like for example some people grow strawberries so they can sell strawberries some people grows vegetables they sell vegetables yeah and yeah you, you and one more thing you can notice is a very nice a, like a lot of snow here you can see the layer of the snow is it's a positive weather right now so you can see how thick the layer is so you can assume like a, how much snow here and also so mainly this city is the industrial city so like a an IT based city it's not like that if you don't know French so you cannot get a job but there are so many like a uh, English speaking job also you can find in the like a uh, IT based IT based company uh, or industrial company as well God, the snow yeah there in Quebec province I don't expect that much snow because this is the first time I visit here uh, in the Quebec in the winter time look at this house it's so beautiful yeah and you can like uh, literally notice their interior is a little bit different from 
uh, like an other city and it's like a very like a wide and open city so all around you can find like a park a lot of like a open space the most interesting is the rent is not that high like uh, yeah so I'm from Calgary now the Calgary rent is like a uh, increasing rocketly <laughs> yeah like uh, I pay thousand dollar whenever I rent my apartment now I pay 1650 it's like Oh. It's. But here in this city, you can find a very like a uh, open, big, and livable apartment within eight hundred to thousand dollars for one or two bedroom. Look at this house. Oh my god. And you can find everything here like a Walmart, Costco, uh, McDonald's, pretty much every brand in Canada you can find in the Jamrungo city as well. It's not like, like a backwards city, you cannot find uh, <laughs> anything you know, for the grocery. Uh, uh, and for the fast food you can find pretty much all of the brand uh, here and the shopping mall as well so many local and international boutiques and lots of cafe so many high-end restaurant as well yeah but the difference is like the like, interior is the difference the people are different the people are very welcoming and very nice and Mostly their service, like a